well, as you know, the scalability is the probable, the holy grail of this space. So if we don't have scalability, we don't have dApps, we don't have anything. So any dApp that really wants to go mainstream, that really wants to grow and really goes to the people, needs to scale and needs to solve. So, and when you are trying to find solutions for solving, then is when you come to the, you know, the state channels, to the side chains, and through it, to all the technologies that we have seen in this in this space. So, this I would say that this is a, a key. This well, this is a key point, and of course, this is a key event for the space because is where you see and discuss about the scalability solutions of about many of the scalability solutions that the different teams propose in the space. So I would say that after after the two sessions, so yesterday and tomorrow, we have at least a very good uh, feeling of the state of the art of this scalability. Um, and that's uh, so that's that's very cool. And then also the interaction between the different teams, I think it's also very important and and Yes, I'm very excited for the things that we have here it, uh, in this event. Yeah, and so what kind of kicked it off was we tried to launch Giveth back in December and quickly realized that it wasn't practical. Um, the, the cost to donate, we're trying to make things more transparent and, and cheaper and more efficient and to donate was going to cost ten dollars or something, something ridiculous, which uh, is a no-go. So that was kind of uh, what, what kicked this whole event off, and uh, it's definitely been helpful to get everybody in the same room talking about solutions and and uh, explaining to DAP developers what is available now and what is in the pipeline uh, in the near or distant future. Yeah, well, for for me, the, the the main conclusion of this event is that uh, side chains are going to happen. Of course, they are not the perfect solution. They are not the last solution, but that's a thing that needs to happen and that must happen. And I expect that this is going to be the year of the side chains. So this is something that the technology is almost ready. Uh, there are start being many side chains, so we expect that in the future it's going to be very important side chains running on the space. So this is probably the the, the good news and the main news. Also, um, we it's important to understand that a lot of the technologies needed to run these side chains is uh, work that will be advanced in the future, because um, when more when better solutions to the side chains like uh, plasma or like uh, uh, sharding like uh, you know these uh, state channels start uh, appearing uh, well especially you know plasma proof stake sharding all these new technologies will need a lot of the things uh, from the normal proof authority side chain we are thinking about from block explorers, we are thinking about the wallet preparation, we are thinking even about the, 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 the depths, thinking in the concept of different chains, we are thinking about the users, how the users will interact with these different chains. So there are a lot of things that needs to be developed in advance because even because we will need it anyway uh, when the new, the new technologies happen. And the other conclusion is that, well, state channels, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take longer. And uh, that's uh, probably uh, the two big conclusions that I, that I, that I take away from this, uh, from, from, from these two days. Uh, yeah, and this, I have similar conclusions that uh, side chains are basically ready. Um, they're they're going to be the scaling solution that is ready the soonest. Um, there's definitely, uh, they're not ideal, but they're kind of, there's a lot of compromises that um, 
that you take when you when we go to the current the current side chain solutions. Um, but but we're, they're viewed as a temporary solution, so DApps can work now and and moving and keep advancing to state channels and plasma and these more distant uh, scaling solutions. Um, for Giveth uh, in particular, the immediate solution is definitely going to be side chains. Um, it requires the least amount of, I, I, like if you can run it on a main net, you can run it on a side chain and there's very little uh, changes that need to happen. Um, I think ideally in the future you're going to be able to have side chains uh, more plasma based and you can submit fraud proofs and uh, you don't have to put so much trust into uh, the side chain right now, or as you would right now. Yes, and probably the interesting thing is all this interchain communication uh, that this needs to be developed. And this is, of course, you start from the mainnet to the side chain, but in the medium future, we can expect uh, not one side chain, but many side chains uh, with different bridges between these side chains so that you know, that they continue to be interconnected uh, one each other. And probably if you go faster, because you know, de developing a side chain is, it, right now it makes, a, it needs a lot of effort, you know, you need to build these servers, you need to maintain these validators, you need to maintain a kind of infrastructure, you need to maintain a kind of block explorer, or whatever. Now there is a lot of pieces that are not, that you need to build by your, by your own. I expect that this is going to be more generalized until the point where sharding. The sharding at the end means that you standardize the way the, the, the side chains are created, the way the side chains are communicated between them, and, um, and then it makes more sense. So all this effort that we are doing now probably is not going to be done in two or three years. I expect in two or three years you create an application and automatically your, your side chain or your shard it's created for you and you, you have all the pieces set it and you don't have to worry about, uh, about this uh, infrastructure setup that we are, uh, that's so costly right now. So for me, this is the main roadmap that I see in the in futures. I'm more skeptical, skeptical in the state channels approach. Uh, I think it's a good idea in theory but it's very difficult uh, idea to put in practice. So, yeah, I'm a little bit sceptical. Maybe I'm wrong, but mm, I don't see that so so clear. There are many pieces that need, you need to put together, and mm, clients need to be aware, and then you need these intermediate services, and you uh, you may end up in a situation where, uh, yeah, you are trying. It, that's going to be everything very much centralized uh, in opposite to what you're pretending to to do. But we will see. That's uh, you know, the the, the time the time will give us the answer. Well, I think it's they're going to happen both. Uh, um, there are different technologies uh, in the space, and each blockchain will have his own uh, 
way to create. Of course, web of web of web of blockchains. This is something that's gonna happen, but uh, that's not incompatible with uh, some of these blockchains that develop the sharding mechanism. So maybe it's gonna be webs that are gonna be bigger, and maybe it's gonna be webs that are gonna be smaller. I don't know what's going to happen if the bigger is going to take the smaller or there is going to be a lot of smaller. I have no uh, a, a crystal ball now to see it. But, uh, you know, maintaining... Uh, but what, it's, what I think is that it's not going to be many technologies. So at the end, developing... A, 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 so, may, so maybe there is a lot of webs, but they are all of the same kind. So it's a kind of sharding, even if they are absolutely independent. And at the end, there is not going to be so many technologies uh, in the space so that they are so different. So, for, so the security is not going to make more security uh, because there are many. Uh, the, the, the security is going to be because there are many technologies run, drowning in that. And I don't see that there are so many. So, yeah, I would bet that maybe in two, three years we see maybe two, three, four technologies each one with many chains. Of course, those chains inside those technologies very connected between them. And then it's gonna be some breaches between nets in these technologies and we will see how they start connected one 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 each other. Um, yeah, I, I think we're headed more towards a, a web of blockchains and not just a single sharding solution, uh, especially because that's where we're kind of headed right now, sharding's not ready, and so I don't imagine that everybody's just going to go and converge onto a single solution once uh, sharding is uh, completed and, and live. Um, I think you're going to end up with a few select uh, kind of standardized ways, like technologies, I guess, like Jordi was saying, um, and that's where the converg convergence is going to happen, but not necessarily on just a single uh, Ethereum sharding solution. Positive things, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. For me, uh, for me, I would say that uh, it has been a, a big pleasure to have uh, these incredible teams here in Barcelona, in my city, seated, seated all, all of them here in the, in the, in the, in the tables, talking about the scalability, talking about the projects. So, only that for but itself, I think, is very, 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 very has been very, very much positive. Uh, of course, uh, you know when you when you do an event of that of, of, of these kinds, of course there are always things that you can improve. Uh, it's it's impossible to do it perfect, but I in general I think it has been a very 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 useful event for most of the teams. At least has been for myself, and uh, I would expect that ex uh, events like this. Um, continue to happen maybe not about this uh, and in maybe not in this place but just around the globe by discussing different things different common problems uh, that the community has and putting teams together I think it's something that needs to happen uh, once a while uh, I think the best part of the event was, yeah, just getting everybody together and um, kind of opening uh, each other's eyes into uh, their particular solutions. And as a DAP developer, like, maybe you're not quite aware of what state channels can offer you. And so having uh, all these different teams and different scaling solutions able to kind of go into depth about how they're solving scalability is, is very was very useful um, and then just getting everybody in the same room and um, the yesterday's event kind of where it's more just the scaling uh, solution provider implementers uh, just getting them to collaborate and talk and uh, I think sometimes you can isolate yourself in uh, this space and, and not realize that another team is doing very similar work and uh, putting them in the same room uh, just allows I guess human contact right and, and advancing each other and sharing ideas it's you always learn things I would say that since I'm in the space uh, 
there has not been a single day that I have not learned something. But uh, in an event like that, where you just hear people just talking about their projects, uh, you know, this uh, rate of learning, it's increasing a lot. So uh, for me, it's, that's, 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 that's important.